The Bachelor of International Business is a, an undergraduate business degree, so a business student will always study things like marketing, economics, finance, accounting and so on, and learn the skills that are required to be, for example, a marketing officer or an accountant. But the international element of the Bachelor of International Business is where we focus on how either a, a local student, an Australian student in our case, can be successful in an international environment, uh, whether working overseas for perhaps a multinational company or uh, working with, say, a Chinese company but being based in Australia. But also for our international students, it's about understanding what it takes to work successfully in an environment like Australia. Students today are being asked to do a lot more things than they were traditionally. I'm an economist, so I did a lot of economics and studied to the point where I could succeed as an economist. But I didn't have to understand a lot of other, other skills. Uh, a modern student is being asked to uh, be a good communicator, be able to work in teams, be creative. All of these things that I think are, are going to be very important for our students in the next 10 and 20 years, um, but are quite difficult to teach and quite challenging. So the onus is on us to make sure that we equip our students with those skills so that they can succeed going forward. I think there's a lot of interesting things about the campus as, as you walk around and see how different the physical facility is. So we've used uh, a lot of research to, to build the facility. The, the classrooms are all flat floors as opposed to the tiered seating in a traditional lecture theatre. And that's designed to facilitate and support the way we teach. Being in the city means that uh, we have access to industry speakers much more easily. We can engage with industry, which for, for a business degree is, is very important. It's also a small campus, so ultimately we might have seven or 800 students on this campus, which seems like a large number, I guess, but it's very small relative to most universities. And it's small enough that there's still a nice cohort experience. The students uh, get to know one another. They're often in, in classes of uh, 50, 60, 70 students where they will get to know most of the students in their class reasonably well. So it is a very different learning space. A lot of our students are fortunate in that they do double degrees and can experience this space plus the very large Monash campuses in Caulfield or Clayton where there are 10, 20, 30,000 students. So they get a more traditional university experience as well as the, the more intimate experience than they, that they get here.